Welcome to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. Join us as we share our favorite RPGs, one-shot games, tabletop games, reviews, and convention panels. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, this is Kelly, a.k.a. Trixie from Ragnarok and Roll, a sign to Ragnarok story, and Tilda Wimblewick from D&D Journey of the Fifth Edition. First off, I would just like to say thank you to everyone for listening to our varied adventures, as well as for rating us on iTunes and RPGpodcast.com. If you haven't rated us yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you could. And if you're looking for more ways to support our efforts, we are now on Patreon, a great site where you can help us continue making more podcasts, as well as some special surprises for our patrons. If you can, please look us up at www.patreon.com slash cppn. Every little bit helps. And again, thank you for listening. Hey guys, Jim here. And Kelly. And welcome back to Hashtag RPG a Day 2023. It is an easier question than, than yesterday, because yesterday's question was a bit out there. August the 22nd game you'd like to see a new edition of. I know which one I'd go for. Well, what would you like to see? I would totally like to see a new edition of Rifts, basically using the Genesis, or an easier D20-like system. Mm -hmm. Rifts is a great setting with some great story, great fiction behind it, but the game mechanics do get a whole bunch crunchy, especially for newer folks that don't don't quite click with the old game mechanics. Mm, That's a good point. For me, I would have to say... Uh, I would like a new edition of, you know what, I'm going to have to go with, after having read some of the deep, uh, the uh, um, PDFs and stuff, mm-hmm. uh, I would love to see a new uh, elf quest that's a little less crunchy. Oh, so you're getting a chance to give them a look-see? Yeah, and because uh, um, I hadn't gotten to play it when we had it when I was young. Um, but I'm like, you know what? They could totally streamline this a little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying we could totally use a elf quest with the Genesis system. That's true. We could, yeah. we could totally merge the, you know, type of thing. Mm-hmm. That would totally be a cool idea. Yeah. Another one, maybe, let's see. Um, hmm. Had it. I was on the tip of my tongue. Take a drink of water and see if it comes. Oh, Gamma World. Oh, Gamma World. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I mean, I remember the original Gamma World, and I remember trying to play sort of the revamped one, Mm -hmm. and I really wasn't feeling it. It didn't have quite the same. I don't know. There was just something I found kind of missing it was embracing the silly and not the traumatic well i mean you know it's like the chaos Mm -hmm. the chaos of the original game you know where you could you could have these like crazy combinations and stuff but and it it was all the luck of the die i mean combinations you know like that would not could not survive but then Mm -hmm. that was kind of like okay then yeah, that character it just it kind of fit more though because you know mutations aren't going to be nice. Mm-hmm. You know, not all of them are going to be you know or experiment you know type of thing. <laughs> so I I would kind of like to see a, a revamp of uh, you know a new edition of the Gamma World. Um, maybe uh harken back to some of the original uh, like character creation style where you're rolling off uh, percentile die, you know, or, you know, just give it a lot more chaos, mm-hmm. but then put it more like maybe with the D and D kind of the, the fifth edition where you have the backgrounds and stuff because mm-hmm. that should be kind of interesting. You know, it's like, oh, I'm escaped tiger from the zoo. Yeah, everyone's escaped from the zoo. Or, you know, it's like, 
you know, especially, I don't, you know, especially with, uh, uh, maybe I'm thinking of, because of course, Sweet Tooth. You oh, know, the, yeah. Uh, you know, with, you have the, the, the hybrid, um, you know, it, it just kind of made me, oh, I remember when I had this and mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So, See, that yeah. totally reminds me of like After the Bomb or, uh, you know, some of the other apocalyptic ones where, you know, we had really mixed up roles that made for really interesting things that you had to work through as opposed to just, oh, my character is a blank, blank, of blanks. No, your character is rando dice roll and you got to play with what you rolled. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. none of this, you know, oh, I'm just going to no. know you, you, you had to play the hand you were dealt. Like my <laughs> sister got an owl, mutated owl that was afraid of the dark. <laughs> like terrified of the dark. I mean, like what the? <laughs> <laughs> so I, mean, I this will. Is crazy fans. I will totally throw it out there that the on Patreon the Friday night poll is actually pulling towards post-apocalyptic for Genesis. So uh, we could always we could always throw something together there. <laughs> just just throwing that out there. I don't think I voted for the post apocalyptic. Okay. Uh, I don't believe you did. You voted <laughs> for the Age of Myths. Yeah. Not, that, you not know. that someone can secretly see behind the poll of who voted for what. <laughs> yeah, I kind of voted for that. <laughs> and of course, the poll is still open until after Comic Con because we have Tucson Comic Con coming up. And I totally figured I'm not going to worry about the poll until the day after on Labor Day. <laughs> Which conveniently will be totally after hashtag RPG a day 2023. That'll be the mm -hmm. first day So uh, I think that'll be a good place to wrap up there because one of our game groups is totally pinging us on Skype right now. And I think they're ready to get to some business. Excellent. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for listening. And what RPG would you like refreshed with a fresh coat of paint and maybe a new dice mechanic? Because that is a huge question right now. Because everybody's liking new stuff, which is good. Alrighty, guys. Thank you for listening. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Creative Play and Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, please check out D&D &D Journey of the 5th Edition and Ragnarok and roll a Scion Hero to Ragnarok Story. Also, check out our Patreon page for more content and behind-the-scenes things, as well as joining us for a one-shot game or two.